Hi everybody, it's me, I'm back. Did you think I'd run away and left you all? <laughs> Sorry, no, I've been um, otherwise engaged sorting things with the house and things. Um, as most of you know, we're going to be putting the house up for sale very shortly. So I've been getting things organised and um, trying to get things sorted for there. Um, what else? But I haven't really done a lot of sewing. I did. Um, I started a bib and brace um, pattern. Um, so I've nearly finished those. I'm going to show you those. Um, it's a, a pinafore dress, um, not a dungaree style, but it's a bib and brace pinafore dress. Um, what else have I been doing? Um, those trousers I'm going to do. The forties inspired trousers. I cannot figure out how to do the front part of them the pattern's totally confusing um i need to get hold of somebody at the sew magazine and see if they can send a video how to because it just don't make any sense to me at all um it goes on about to this facing but there's and then another facing but there is only one facing so it's a bit it's, a, it's really confusing anyhow i will update you on that when i've got an answer from sew magazine um, the next video, which I'm going to do straight after this one, um, I'm going to cover how to do tailor's tax properly and how to do darts. Um, so I'll need to get all that ready for you uh, and then I'll give you a quick demonstration on how to do those two things and then hopefully we'll be back on an even keel with the videos. If you haven't joined me, please subscribe um, for lots more exciting things that are coming. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please tell your friends about our channel, whether you're learning to sew or you can already sew. Um, it's good for beginners and for intermediate and for advanced sewers as well. I'm at the caravan, as you can probably see, with the door behind me here. It's really bright sunshine. If there's any barking, I'm sorry, there's somebody just pulled up just across the way um, in a touring caravan and it sounds like they've got an Alsatian or something. It keeps barking and setting my three off. So I do apologise if I'd have to cut this short. Um, at the moment, I've just quieted them down a little bit. Um, so hopefully they'll stay quiet for 10 minutes uh, and then I can carry on and do this for you. Um, what else was, oh, my big machine that I keep at home, my, um, electric sewing machine and the embroidery machine that that attaches to it um i've decided i was going to sell it um and sell my one that i keep at the caravan because i don't use the embroidery machine anymore and it takes up a lot of space and our plan is that once we sell the house we're going to come and live at the caravan and we're going to try it anyway um see if we like it so I won't have enough space for it really. So I thought if I um, could sell it and get an, a combined one, I'm not so bothered about all the embroidery. As long as it's got some fonts on and some fancy stitches, that's all I need really. Um, most things we do can do with straight stitch and zigzag and a few like little built-in embroidery stitches without having to have a computer attached and the, an actual embroidery machine with the hoop and everything else going off. It takes up like a full table when, when you've got it set up. I mean, I could have brought it here and set it up, but it just took over the dining table that we've got at the caravan and that's not a good look when we're trying to do dinner and one thing and another and if people come and it's just a clat. So, um, yeah, anyway, I sold it. I sold it on eBay. It sold on the second day. Um, I had a cheeky offer of half of what I wanted for it. Uh, and I said, sorry, no, can't accept that. The minimum I can accept is what I've put it on for. Um, which, if you change your mind, let me know. Anyway, it's sold the day after, so. I don't blame for trying. I might have tried it if I'd have wanted it. So, to be fair, you've got to be a bit cheeky, haven't you? <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, that's about it with where we are at the moment. I've got loads of other fabrics. I bought a mystery bundle from um pound fabrics uh, i think it was 9.99 or something and there was 15 meters of fabric in there was five lots of three meters i can't remember if i uploaded that because it's a few weeks ago but there's some really lovely fabrics and the one there's only one that i were a bit 
unsure about what I wanted to make with it so I'm still unsure about that I have washed it and it does feel better to sew with and it's softened up a little bit it was really really shiny like a mermaid thing a uh, mermaid tail right really really like shimmery and bright electric blue it would just be in your face and I thought oh I could use it to make something for my niece maybe I don't know maybe um she's a bit old for a mermaid costume but maybe a what they call them? Bean bag. What I can think. Um, maybe a bean bag or a big cushion or something like that. But anyhow, the other four that were with it, I've got plans in my mind for them. Um, as soon as I open them, I thought, oh, that'll be good for this. This will be good for this. So there'll be a lot more sewing projects coming up. Um, as I say, I'm sorry for uh, being absent for a while. Um, but I'm back and hopefully we'll be back to putting a couple on a week after next week. Next week I've got the value we're in. So then, and I've got a lot going off next weekend, but then after that um, we should be back to normal and I should be able to update you every few days. So keep your fingers crossed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, uh, hit the notification bell which will give you uh, an email ping pong email that will tell you when I've uploaded another video um, and yeah thank you for staying with me and thank you for your support thank you for your nice comments I do read them all uh, and I do respond to them all so if you have anything you want to see anything you want to ask me please please put it in the comments box below and I will do my best to sort it for you I will let you know about the um, the trousers I was really, really annoyed as well because I've done the legs, I've done the back and everything else. I've come to do the front. Totally lost with it. I'm totally lost with it. And I and I say I've been sewing 50 years, so it shows you um, you never know everything there is to know about sewing. It's a learning curve, a lot of it. Um, so, yeah, when they come back to me and explain what they mean, then I will let you know what they mean. And I will finish them off and I will up upload a, pic a picture for you. Um, and other than that, my lovelies, that's all I've got to tell you at the moment. I'm going to do go do the darts video. Um, and I thought I would do it separately because at the moment, my computer at home, my laptop's playing up a little bit still it keeps freezing and i don't know why when it's recording it keeps freezing so the phone which i'm recording on today won't let me pause and then restart like the laptop will so i can't cut off and then come back to you about things so i thought i'd do the intro and my explanation um as to where i've been and what i've been doing and then I'll do a separate video showing you what we're going to be doing. So I need to change the angle of the phone and the uh, tripod and everything else. So it'll be a bit um, jiggity-jaggity if I tried to do it all while you were uh, uh, watching me, <laughs> so to say. Uh, I will give the laptop another try. Once that's up and running, I'll be fine. Be able to whiz these videos through. I also have a bit of a problem uploading them to YouTube while I'm at the caravan as well for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So thanks for joining me. My name's Amanda, for those of you who don't already know. And this is Let's Sew. Thank you. See you next time, guys. <laughs>